Okay, we woke up this morning with our power off. And he's... And Rick is saying... Look, they cut that tree down. Why the hell did they cut that tree down for? It has nothing to do with power. What the hell? And they took our meter out, completely out. It, it's sitting right there. Oh my God, he's got to do something about this. This is horrible, I don't like this. But right there is the truck. So why now? Why didn't they go ahead and take the whole damn thing out? Well, they could have trimmed it back from that wire, but they cut the whole tree down. Man, and look, they cut that tree down over there. Don't know. But they're right there. Oh man, let's take a walk on the round on the on the round side. Let's go over on that side. Take a look at what's going on. Yeah, but you need to clean that mess up. No, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about. <laughs> uh. No, they just don't put my thing back in. I didn't even see them come over. Oh my gosh. They cut part of that tree down. Or, yeah. No, it looks like the limbs just fell on it. And look at all this. See? They cut part of it. And they cut this. Uh, it's not right they just come on your property and just cut trees. And I opened this up and I didn't want it opened up. Why did they cut this tree? Do what? Why did they cut this tree? We haven't touched that tree. I'm not sure. Well, somebody cut the tree. Maybe Asplen did, but I'm not sure. I haven't touched it. Yeah. All we told him to do was that over there because he's laying on the wire. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't that high. I don't know, man. It don't make no sense. All right, thank you. Where are you crapping about, Mom? My tree. Somebody cut my tree! What do you mean somebody cut your tree? You know exactly who cut your tree. That was Brandon that did that. Rick gave Brandon permission to do that. Not like that. How could Brandon have done it? Brandon did all that. I promise you. Brandon did all that that day. Remember he was back here cutting up a tree? This was the tree he was Yeah, but up. we thought it was a different tree than that one. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Well, done with that, I reckon. So we got Brandon cutting down trees. <laughs> Not his fault. No, nope, it ain't his fault. He asked permission before he did it. Uh, yeah. We got these two down too. Oh, you should have seen the whole field over there. The whole field had trees riddled all the way on the other side of it. Well, I didn't want to get up and come out here and look at it. <laughs> Lazy ass. Right. All right, I want to look at the same thing now and get a good general look at it. 
Yeah. I'm going back around to the front to go in. Yeah, I heard. Hey, we can have some coffee now. We just woke up. I put something dirty up here. I don't like that now. We're almost at the end of this thing. Alright. So we're going to start on this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these because they go into a thing and I got the, the shortest one. And I'm going to go as far as I can with this one before I grab the other one. I hope everybody's doing good today. And, um, and, sorry I didn't have one to put up, but that's just the way it goes. It's like, hey, you ain't got nothing to put up. I've been watching this uh, thing out of California. And this woman and a bunch of other people are trying to get the um, police stations and all to um, do the right thing. The If you watch um, Think Like a Cop, he does videos on cops and tells you, you know, the truth about the things that the cops are doing. Well, there's one, this, uh, one, two cops, they got drunk, they were drinking at a bar, let's put it that way, drinking at a bar, and then they went to this guy's house that they didn't like, because he believes, you know, they, they, uh, they, they, they say he's against the government. Um, he uh, went up and knocked on the door, or yelled through the door, I can't remember exactly what, what it was. But he told me he said he, that he had a gun, and the guy said, I have one too, and he started firing at him. And the guy did not have a gun. And that cop, there was a couple other things that they, you know, that, um, that he did, and he ended up getting fired. And all, but you ought to go check it out. Anyways, think like a cop. Um, but the one that I was talking about, and all, um, they um are trying to get to where the police are do things right, and um. That's like these people that do the audits. And you probably don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the audits. They go to like the jail and they film at the jail. Um, they go to like post offices. Any government building, they go and they film at because it's a constitutional right for us to be able to film there. And um, these people are trying to get things back going again. I don't think they can. They can try. But I don't think things are... I think things will continue to get worse until Jesus Christ comes back. Because you have to have evil for the Antichrist to come in. If, if other than that, you ain't gonna have him. But I don't know, who knows, maybe God might be able to turn things around to where, you know, everything will work out and we'll have another billion years here. But I feel sorry for, right now, for any kid or anything. 
I mean, the government wants their nose in everything. I would not want to grow up to be a kid. I didn't like it whenever I was young. No wonder every kid wants to be an adult. <laughs> I'm going to be an adult one day. It's because of the way things are. And all. Uh, it's horrible. But, alright, now I'm going to grab my next one and I'm going to bring it on up. Maybe, just maybe. I see Jonathan got some paneling from, I guess it had to be over yonder. But, um, I don't know. He got him a TV over now. Just that don't matter. I sure do enjoy that baby. I'm telling you, I do. I enjoy her. At least I can have a camera on a 24-7, but I can't. <laughs> That's only to show how pretty she is and how cute. And all that good stuff. This is going just fine. Can't wait to um, get it done. It's going to be good. Let's see what it looks like. Well, I'll say that on everyone. Alright, um, someone donated me some money and I'm not gonna say how much it is I don't never let that go out but somebody donated me some money for that one um, oh, Prairie Point uh, quilt and I sent it to them they got it and they are in love with it so I am glad. I'm happy that they're happy. I, can't, I don't remember who it was. But it, it don't matter. I gave away so many quilts. I <laughs> it just don't matter. I still have the other one. But if I have to get rid of them, I'll have to get rid of them and all because um, I have to have room down here to put things. And believe you me, I run out of room. And I wish I'd have, see if I can't fix this. I got some bubble right down here. It's bugging me. I'll try to get it right here in this area. <coughs> okay. Yeah, that got rid of it. Just a little bit. I got a couple of days without the baby. I don't know how much I'm gonna work on this. My house is a disaster. Mom's dog has pooped and pissed everywhere. And I'm gonna have to bring out all my weapons. But right now, I don't know how to put this. Don't wear a dress without some kind of shorts or something underneath it. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to walk. You get chaffed, I think is what they call it. Oh my God. And you don't want that. 
You'll be wearing dresses without nothing because it hurts too much to put anything down there. <laughs> oh, my son, he says, I get it all the time, Mom. I'm out in the heat, and it just, it's horrible. <laughs> okay. So, all right, now we're on that one. Now we got two more here. And I think I'm going to grab this one because it's closer to that one. And we're going to get this right here done. Probably should have waited on that middle one. This one here just done. Because, nope, it's going to line up. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. I can handle that. But, uh,. It's not fun, guaranteed. It is hot. Man, that storm, it knocked out our, our, ooh, here comes another one. It knocked out our internet, and we were the, it looked like we were the only one that had electric. And I, how that happened, I have no idea. But we were the only one that had electric. But we helped out what we could around here. And that's the best thing to do. Always do the best. It looks like there may be something else coming up. From the sounds of it, the rain is starting to come down. Feels like a bubble there. But whenever you put it across the dome. We'll find out when we get done with it what it looks like behind it. <laughs> uh, let's try this bad baby again. Ooh, that one sounds spooky. <laughs> I haven't never had a car or a van or whatever you want to call whatever I've got up there uh, where you can take and pump the trunk of it and open up the sp springs. No, they're not springs. I forget what they're called. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I've never had one to work. I finally got one to work. I told Rick, I said, Rick, I said, I've never had one to work. I said, I would like to see that fixed. He said, let's go to the store and get the, we're going to make this work for you. I thought that was awful cool. So now I have a working trunk. I'm going to call it trunk. Boot, as I say in uh, England. Um, so now I have one. And now I can open it up, throw my groceries in the back. Right now I've got a baby bouncer back there. And I want to get rid of it. Jonathan been working on his car, I don't know how long. It has gave him so much trouble. But, I guess mechanics have to go through that every once in a while, huh? Almost at the end of this thread. Now, you, you could continue to do this, you know, when you go, go as far as you can, what you have in thread, and just leave it on your, on your quilt. And when you get back to it, you know, do it, use it again. I mean, it's easy. Alright, I'm going to call it quits right here, because I'm at a tip.
Y'all didn't have no phone last night. And so I left around uh, 11 o'clock to go get Rick so that Rick <coughs> would know that I was there and I knew the phone was dead. So that uh, he could uh, not worry about me being there or not. I went down there and you know the, um, what do you call them, the trays? I washed trays and put uh, the paper back in them. I swept the uh, girls' bathroom. I couldn't get a dustpan, so I just had to sweep it in the corner. But uh, they are training Rick to be a manager, so I can't just holler back there and say, Hey, Rick, come here. You know, like I used to, because he's in the office now learning... Um, learning how to count the money and how to fill the paperwork out or whatever they do now okay now why ain't you doing that oh well that gummit that's too big of a stitch and i don't want it. all right that's better it's, it's wanting to slip all right I'm going to see if I can't um, finagle you guys right here, so hopefully you can see. I'm going to that a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, All right. let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see if they'll still do it now. All right, I'm gonna go down and then I'm gonna go up. See here how how it does it. I don't want that big. So see here, I now made it smaller. What it is is in between the batting and the backing and the top. It has too much uh, air space in there. And that's why come it does that. So we have to kind of work with it and make it so that it don't do that. And that's the best way I found to take care of it. All right, what other kind of in unimportant things can I talk about? <laughs> I know somebody asked me if I would tell them something, but she was, I can't remember what it was. And I bet you I did not take a picture of the question. I tell you what mom has got, she gets me so confused. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. And, and I told Jonathan, I said, Jonathan, time to get rid of the dog. I said, it has to go. Mom will not clean the cage. That dog has been sleeping in its own pee and everything. I'm like, Mom, dog has to go. You cannot take care of it. And I, have, I do not have the time. I'm the one that cooks and cleans and does everything around the house. And it, look. I don't want to take away what time that I can do my sewing and all. I don't want to take that away. Because if I take that away, I might as well just give everything up and just quit altogether. And Rick does not want me doing that because he says it's, it's very helpful for me to do this. Oh, man. Huh, that's thunder. <laughs> that's thunder. Ooh. Well, I don't know.
know how much more he can work on that car or if he is. Probably had to go get Rick again early or go down there early because we won't have the internet, the phone, or nothing. But I do have to say that I did get two of my Bibles done last night. <coughs> <clears throat> Maybe I'll get some more done tonight. <laughs> but I'm having to go slower on this. I just don't have the time. And I've got to do something with that my bedroom where that dog is winning. And we had block off part of the bedroom so the baby couldn't go in that side of the bedroom because um, Heather brought the baby early and I'll because she had to go look check out a trailer because she wants to move and or yeah something like that I don't know exactly but um, the dog I didn't have time to clean up the mess I mean I picked up the the big stuff but I'm talking about bringing in my carpet cleaner and cleaning my carpet so I had to not uh block off most of my bedroom because I didn't want the baby over playing in it even though it was cleaned up but not to my standard for my baby to be climbing in it. Can you understand what I'm saying? I mean it would have been fine with me and I don't know. I'm just overprotective when it comes to that baby. Rick says I am overprotective. So I can't help it. I can't help it a bit. Alright, now, what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to tie this off. I can probably get in a couple more niches here. And, um, tie this one off. And I don't know yet. I'm going to have to take a look and see what I can do. See what I can do to it. Alright. So, now then. Let's see if we can put you back over there. Well knocking you on the floor, knocking you off, or all them other things. Alright, let's see what I want to do. If I take, I can sew some of this and come up, that's about it. So I can come right about here with this one and take my string and put it over. So that would probably be my best bet. But I do have to fight with this right over here on the curve. But we're not going to worry about it. We're going to give it a go. John says, Mom, will you check out what this that noise is in that, that direction? I'm like, I can already tell you what it is. It's where they grind up the um, the wood, the uh, uh, tree limbs. And he's like, man, that thing sounds like it is a monster. It is mean. <laughs> I would say, yeah, I guess it would be with it having all that, uh, having to have all that uh, grinding and all done. Oh, man, how? No, oh no, 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 no. It's gonna make a knot there. No, we don't want a knot there. Okay. Alright, here we go with this one. Yeah, it's not long, I'll have to go in and fix supper. 
look at that. My knot came undone. I got it too close. Oh, that's not cool. I like, I guess I like cutting them too close. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Yeah, um, sometime, okay, see how I can explain this. Some of my videos are put up, I have, all I have to do is just open them up for y'all to see them. And sometime y'all leave a comment, and I haven't had a chance to watch the video, I just open it up for you guys. And I don't get a chance to watch the video, see what you, see what I said and all. And you leave a comment, and I'm like, what the hell, what are they talking about? And all. So I get lost on that. Sometimes I probably say things, you're like, what? You know? I get so lost, though. Give me some kind of a pointer. What I was talking about. Because I do get lost. Oh, don't do that. I like putting videos up every day. But if things continue as they are, I may have to just, you know, put them up when I can. Like now. Because I didn't have time. Last time, uh, when I didn't have Cadence, I didn't have time to do any videos. I probably did one, I think. But I didn't have time to work on anything. And it just set out here. Like I said on that one, that this, this stuff that I was doing, it was three days before I could come back to it. And um, so I may have to just put up videos when I can. Can I've been watching this guy. And I'm going to call him a guy. Okay. But he is a furry potato. And I think the way he does things, you know, is kind of funny. Some of it is and some of it ain't. But I have been watching him like crazy. It's, it, he has a confused mind. But he seems like a very nice character, though. And yeah, I would sit down and I would talk to him. And all. I would have conversations with him. I had a cousin. And he... Uh, his name was Gary Workman. He won all kinds of pageants. And all. He has some really beautiful ball gowns. I'm telling you, he did. He had some nice ball gowns. And he is my cousin, and he done my hair. He owned a, a beauty parlor. And we lived in uh, Del Barton, West Virginia, and he lived in Huntington, West Virginia. And we would go down there. And I'm taking that out before I stick my finger. And we would go down there and he would do our hair. I took my boyfriend down there one time. And um, he said, you better treat him right. If you don't, I'm going to take him. <laughs> and he goes, he says, no, you won't. He said, I'll find me somebody else. <laughs> 
It was <laughs> it was so funny. He was outspoken like me. But unfortunately, he was caught with girls behind his trailer. And one of them had, um, I forgot, sexual disease. I'm going to call it that. Uh, and um, somebody would call me in and told me about it and said that, um, said that he was doing it and all. And he wanted to marry me. Like, no, I don't think so. <coughs> um, then, I'm going to tell you, he, he, in his older years, okay, my, my brother, he, he was one of my, became one of my brother's friends, a close friend. Okay? Well, they had separated, and I'm talking about they're not, you know, weird or anything. But they had gotten out of touch with each other. And for some reason, somehow, in Georgia, <coughs> they both lived in Georgia in the same place. And they happened to come across each other. And the old boyfriend was looking for a vehicle to get back and forth to work in. And my brother had a truck. And he sold him a truck. Was selling, was, he's supposed to make payments on the truck. Well, um, he quit making payments on the truck. So he hunted me down. I got a cat that won't see him. He hunted me down and offered him for me to come. Come on. For me to come down there and stay with him to... Um, Maybe, maybe he wouldn't um, try to take the money, you know. He wouldn't have to make no payments because I was there. <clears throat> well, William came in with my brother. He came in and he goes, Sandy, I hate to do you this way, but I'm going to. I'm going to show you what kind of person he really is and what he really wanted. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? He said, uh, I come to take the truck back because you're not making payments on it. And he said, well, if you're going to get take the truck, your mother will take your sister too. You know? And I'm like, what? How dare you? I said, that's all you wanted me here for? He said, yep. And I kept it longer than I, th I thought I would. Oh, man, you talk about somebody. Let me tell you, there was not a piece of glass that was in that house that did not get broke. Or anything that was on the wall that did not get uh, taken off the wall. Because I went berserk. I, uh, they, you know, I had to get a job. So I got a job. And I was working. And um, I came home from work one night. Both of them, there was two of them there, uh, him and his brother. And I had Cindy. She's my daughter. I had Cindy and um, came home. She had a bottle of bleach open. And I was like, what the world are y'all doing in the bed? And this baby up by itself. And she was still in diapers. She wasn't even a year old yet. And, oh man, you talk about somebody being pissed off. But yeah. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I never did work out after that with me and him. Hey, Mama Cat, I'm not getting back up to let you out. I'm fixing to quit here in a minute. Yeah, I think I'm going to quit for right now. I'm going to go get me something to drink. See what time it is. But, when I come back, 
we can finish using this right here. I'm not going to cut that off. And all. But I'm going to work on this and we'll work out that way and get what we can done. Done. All right. We'll be back. All right. We're looking at our plants. Look at that, man. They have gotten big. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at them. They're beautiful. All right. We got the electric company over here at Marie's. There was a tree that fell down back there. Oh, no. It's starting to rain. Oh, that's not good. But, oh. Okay, this is the hole. What? Can you all, I wish, oh my gosh, what the hell? No, man. Oh, man. All right. I guess I need to go talk to somebody about that. That is not good. All fear is gone Because I know Who holds a future And life is worth believing Just because you live And then one day I'll cross and Cause he lives like a dream. 